Okay guys, so I am actually in the doctor's office and boy do I look rough this morning. Um, I think I was allergic to the makeup that I had on yesterday because my eyes are all poofy and gross. Um, but so they have me in this little thing. They're going to do an EKG on me. And um, I did get my package set up for going to the hospital. They set you up with a certain set of vitamins and a certain set of protein. So I'm kind of at that point with that. Um, it was a little more out of pocket than I thought, but I mean, I guess that's what it is. We'll go over that later. I'll kind of go through my package and show you what I got. Um, I'm just waiting on them to come in and do the EKG. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm very excited. Um, I'm very sleepy because I couldn't sleep last night again. I think I mentioned that in the previous little snippet of video. Um, but yeah, so here I am and here we go. I guess I'll be half naked for a few minutes. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey guys. Hey guys. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, so today is day one. Day one of my pre-surgery diet. Um, I am having mixed emotions about it because I'm like, holy crap, this is going to be a rough, rough, rough two weeks. But then I'm also excited about it because in two weeks, my life begins. Um, so I... I'm, I'm just not, first off, I'm not a camera person, so if I keep looking away and stuff like that, I feel like I'm just doing it to, like, gain my train of thought, <clears throat> but anyways, so welcome back to another moment of my life. Um, I believe I have two other videos, maybe clips or something, that are posted a little bit before this. Um, I'm just going to kind of jumble them all together and edit it. Uh, I am starting my pre-diet today. Today is the 8th of February, 2021. <clears throat> I am only allowed to drink two protein shakes and one small meal a day. Uh, the small meal has to be low carb. It, they literally said it's like maybe four ounces of a uh, light meat like chicken or seafood. Um, and then the rest can be vegetables. Uh, they didn't say it had to be super, like, small. Like, they weren't, like, you know, like, I'm not going to starve, which is great. Um, but it does have to be two protein shakes and a light meal. Uh, I am going to... Oh, they also said if I'm just dying, like, I need a snack or something, that I can do one more protein shake. Um, and then water 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 uh i know y'all know the drill if you don't i'm having the sleeve surgery uh one of the major factors after sleeve surgery is becoming dehydrated i do not want to become dehydrated uh, i already kind of struggle drinking enough water per day so i already know i'm gonna be a trouble child in that department so i have started drinking so much water just getting used to it uh, so water is one of the main components which to me what I, I notice if I'm drinking enough water I'm not starving all day which is fantastic so that's kind of what I'm rolling with <clears throat> sorry guys I just woke up and I like I feel like my allergies have been messing with me so bad my eyes are watery and itchy and I feel a little nasally um, that's normal for me though don't not worried about you know the Rona um, I actually always have allergies it's just that time of the year for me um, anytime any weather changes <laughs> my face is the first to know um, but yeah so I'm having my surgery on the 22nd of February I'm going through Dr. Patel a Texas bariatric specialist I like the place. Um, I guess my initial review is that 
he is not a huge people person. I mean, he was really nice during my meet and greet with him, <clears throat> but I've literally met him one time. Um, I guess that's something that is different from doctor to doctor. Some doctors are more hands-on. Some doctors are surgeons and have better things to do with their life. Um, I haven't really ever been somewhere that I just meet the doctors all the time. So I don't, I don't know how normal that is or how unnormal, abnormal that is. Um, I'm assuming that a lot of people get to meet their doctor and spend more time with them. Uh, it seems like that would be kind of normal, but then on the same note, these guys are surgeons. Like, they hire a whole team to pre-screen you and get you through everything. Um, they probably have to spend the majority of their time in the surgery room, you know, doing surgeries in the operating room. Um, so I'm not too sad about not getting to know him better. I mean, he's going to get to know me pretty well on the 22nd, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I love the staff. The staff is super nice. Um, I've had moments to where, um, like, I don't know if you've followed me before, but when I first applied, I got denied. <clears throat> um, and it wasn't anything I did. It was actually, uh, a paper that they needed filled out that wasn't filled out properly on the doctor's side of it. Uh, but it was like a common mistake. It wasn't something like they just messed up my paperwork. Um, and so the doc instead of replying and saying, hey, we need this, then they just denied me my insurance, yay insurance. Uh, so I had to kind of jump through some hoops. In the process of jumping through the hoops, I had to talk to the advocate at the doctor's office a lot. And she was so nice and she was so considerate and she walked through everything with me and she was just very hands-on and very kind. I mean, I even, when I first started, got like a huge welcome email from her saying that she was happy to be working with me and this and that. If I need anything to reach out to her. Um, so to me, that makes up for the doctor not being super personable. Um, I'm fine with that. Like, just let me know that you know that I'm alive and we're good. Um, another thing, I'm trying to think if there's anything I can mention. <clears throat> um, not really. I mean, it's been a pretty easy, I don't, I, I don't want to say easy process. The first, like, two months was simple. Like, I had to jump through a ton of hoops, um, but I was ready to go have surgery. Like, literally, I started October 17th. I had everything finished by November, I think, 15th, and unfortunately, um, I think it was like December 1st or 2nd, I was denied, but if I had been approved, I would have already had the surgery like literally in December, uh, because I just, I was a candidate, everything matched, everything fit perfect. Um, so I could have already had the surgery back in December if my insurance didn't pull, you know, a, a douche move. Um, but all of that was resolved and I'm kind of glad, I think everything happens for a reason. Uh, I think I really needed to go through my my journey of trying to figure out how to eat and trying to see, like, really being aware and witnessing my own downfalls when it comes to eating um, and seeing how addictive certain things are. You know, people always say, like, this is the easy way out. It's not. Um, for some reason, people like us just have the struggle, like, the struggle is really real. Uh, it is having the surgery makes us go into a life change and it really helps us so you know and it it's hard work I mean like it's really hard work so you know kudos to everybody that has chosen this it's definitely not the easy way out um I'm very happy to be here um <clears throat> anyways on to better news uh I guess, I mean, I guess there's really not much else to go over. I am happy to be here and I am prepping for my surgery. So, so for my last doctor's appointment, uh, for those of you that are kind of wondering what happens at your last doctor's appointment, it's like the one that you get your little package, you get everything. Um, they gave me a 
binder belt. I mean, it's like hardcore. Um, they gave me those, I don't know what they're called. Um, what are they called? The socks that go up, compression socks, I think that's what they're called. Uh, they gave me those. Um, they also set me up with a bag full, like two bags full of stuff. So I have, I think it's like two large bags of the protein shake mixes. <clears throat> um, I got one that's like Java coffee flavored and one that is uh, like unflavored. Um, and they're huge. I think I feel like they're going to last me forever for some reason because they're gigantic. Um, they gave me three bags of 60 day multi shoes and all of this is bariatric advantages <coughs> for the brand. Um, I got three bags of the calcium bites and those are like 90 package, 90, 90 count for each one. Um, they gave me a vitamin D, a vitamin B, and something else. I'll insert little photos right here so that y'all can kind of see everything. Um, the, that's, oh, they gave me some, like, I guess, like, protein water type of drink, like, the flavor drinks. They gave me, like, three of those. Um, I think that's it. <coughs> The, the appointment itself, they took my blood, uh, they did an EKG, and they checked, like, my blood pressure and my weight, and what else did they do? That was it as far as, like, physical things, and then I sat through a class where she went through what the operation is, what to expect the day, the two weeks diet before, the one day diet before. Um, the day of the hospital, kind of like the days, a few days after the hospital. Um, so the two weeks before, I already mentioned I'm doing the two protein shakes and a small meal. Unlimited water, like get in your water. Uh, that's for the two weeks before. The day before, um, I have to be on full clear liquids. <coughs> um, there is a magnesium citrate or something like that some kind of crazy liquid stuff that I already went and bought she said to buy two bottles um, at noon the day before surgery I have to drink one full bottle like immediately <coughs> and I guess it's supposed to clean me out in the sense of cleaning me out um, and then she's kind of scared me because she's like if you don't do it if you don't go by 6 p.m drink that other bottle and I'm like oh man she's trying to kill me like everything's gonna explode um but I'm sure I'll be fine uh, I really don't have a problem with going if you know what I'm saying um so that should be fine I mean especially being on a liquid diet for like two weeks already not a liquid diet but you know almost all liquids like one meal a day I don't think that I'll have a problem in that department um Oh, she said, uh, so that day's full, li full, uh, clear liquids. There's a difference between full liquids and clear liquids, which I didn't really realize that. Um, so clear liquids is the day before. For three weeks after, three weeks, not two, not one, not a few days, three weeks after, I will be on a clear diet. A clear. Can you hear me? Clear. Um, I've had a lot of people tell me, don't worry about it, you're not going to really feel hungry, like, you'll be satisfied with whatever it is that you're eating, but I've seen other people be like, I'm starving, so I don't know, I'm kind of, I think I'm more worried about that area versus the pre-surgery diet, um, <clears throat> just because I just can't, I can't comprehend it and I know like later I'm gonna laugh and be like Jesus why, why was I thinking that it would be such a, a hard thing um, you know because I don't even have a stomach anymore at that point uh, so in two weeks we'll be back here talking about that but I really am just like how am I gonna not be hungry or how am I gonna like I, in my mind I'm like oh my god I'm literally gonna be like 
being on clear everything for like three weeks like how can you even survive on that but then on the same note i will be doing protein shakes and my stomach's gonna be the size of a freaking smaller than my mouse so i mean i guess that's kind of the the moment that i'm in so i guess comprehension like my brain is just like um so i'm probably making a big deal out of it and it's probably not really a big deal at all so i guess we'll see we will be back here in two weeks doing a video to update you on that um but anyways i mean i guess i'm just blabbing and blabbing and blabbing i'm just so happy to be in this situation i'm very fortunate to have a good insurance even though i complain about them from time to time um i mean honestly i pay enough for them so i mean i guess but um, you know, I'm very fortunate to have a good insurance to be able to go through this and I'm very blessed because I have a very supportive spouse and You know, I have a very supportive family like I have literally I think only one person that I've talked to that was like Can't you just do it naturally, you know, and I See a lot of people that that's all they get. They only get people that are just like no no don't do it Don't do this. You know, why would you do something like that? And I'm so sad for them because I'm just in a position to where I'm so supported like Anything to make me a healthier person anything to make me a happier person anything to Just solve certain problems that I'm having medically um, You know there I have support 100% and not everybody has that so I'm very 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 blessed to have that and I'm so happy to be here um, so I guess with that I'm gonna go ahead and round it up guys and uh, I guess I will talk to y'all later and I hope y'all have a wonderful week today is Monday so get through that week don't let that week get through you and we'll talk to you later bye guys